Hey guys, Anthony here from Triple XRC Garage. What I'm talking about today is the Sen F450. Something I didn't realize, well, found out I should say. Um, I was running this with a trailer and I noticed one of my, um, these uh, tension bars, one of the brackets was like hanging down like that. I'm like, what's going on? So as I started doing a little investigation, I found out that there's a pin supposed to be in these arms. And um, so looking, I mean, they did put the set screws in, they put everything in, but both tension bars were gone. Now, I don't know if they broke off. I don't know, I don't know if they were plastic or metal. I mean, I'm assuming they're metal because I'm looking at this well-illustrated book here that comes with your truck and it's showing the pins and showing how they're held in place. Um, there's two screws, one at the front of the arm. Here, I'll just show you on the book here. Um, so there's one at the front arm, I guess keeps it from coming out of the slot. And then there's a tension one that goes actually in the shaft, holds it in place and there's a hole in the shaft and it goes through a little slide groove in here. I was trying to keep from taking this apart to show you, but um, I haven't even taken off the tires of this thing yet. So after investigating this, I'm finding out that they're both missing, one on both sides. And I see they're on the front ones, but they're not on the rear ones. So I don't know if that was a factory mess up or maybe I, they were brittly and they broke. I don't know. And Mr. Lawn Boy over there, he's still cutting his grass, so hopefully it won't disturb my microphone too much. So I found this wire. Where'd my bearing go? Um that ain't good. Where'd my bearing go? I just set this over here out of the way. be on this table here let me just look forward here for a second oh there it is freaked me out a second so there's a little bearing that goes on this shaft which fits in this plastic rear bumper housing thingy so so to improvise this stuff here is pretty springy and of course you can buy these things by thousands because these are the little yard flags um, that you put in your yard for your mark, to mark your thing and I just took and marked up the tension here and it seems like it's holding it in place pretty good so I'm going to be using these okay so I went ahead and removed one of these pivot arms and because uh, I guess I'm going to need to make sure that I make it the proper size so basically what this does is this goes over this and this goes in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this tension screw up. I am gonna be putting a Loctite on all these things when I'm done. So basically, see there's a hole here and there. So basically, basically this will slide over like such. And then this goes through and then of course, this front screw here is supposed to hold it in place. So it's supposed to fit in like this, so when this works, it works together with the other side. Now we're gonna have to cut this off, but I'm just gonna test it real quick here to make sure this will work and hold Put that tight. And then we're going to tighten up this. I am going to cut this off just so that basically is going to how it's going to work. Um, I was going to order something, but I don't know if Sen's still backed up and if they even have these parts. I and mean, there's parts numbers on here, but I'm going to just try this first. And if it doesn't work, then eventually I guess I will have to get the um, the correct part for it. But right now, 
this little flag rod is going to work. Now, I don't know about what the weight and stuff I'm going to be using on it, but we'll see. It'll be a nice little test, see how it holds. So, what I'm going to do, put my thumb here, bring this out, take my wire cutters, and that should give me the right length. Here comes another plane. Ever since this COVID thing has gone down, um, dang, now he's going to cut the lawn after he's done all the blowing? I'm confused. Um, yes, yeah, so after the COVID, or while the COVID's been going on, I guess people have been using private planes to get around. And so, all right, like this is a pretty stout cut. And this is gonna go in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it a second one. And trust me when I tell you, I've got plenty to practice with because I use these for my other job and I don't do sprinklers, but, but I uh, do use, oh, gotta roll away on me. I got two cut. I'm gonna use my second one. Put it through. As you can see, it fits right in there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tight, of course use some Loctite I'm going to, but I'm gonna tighten it up here and then I'm going to tighten this front one up too. And That'll make it work again. I don't understand, again, if it was like just from the factory or not. I'm not gonna slam them that way. I've heard of parts being put on wrong, like one guy showed a picture of his his <laughs> with two left mirrors, and you could you could really tell it was backwards. And then there's been a few parts here and there that I've been seeing. But you know, regardless, it you know things happen. It is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and put this all back together and do this other side. But I will tell you, we'll stop and brag. This book is really, I mean, the pictures on here with the parts numbers of, and it's glossy, it's nice. I mean, it is a well-to-do book. I mean, this book is just unreal. Um, so yeah, I, I'm very impressed with it. Um, one of the things I'm probably going to end up doing with this truck is I got to lock, I'm going to end up locking these um, hubs because for some reason if you start getting stuck it doesn't work correctly and uh, you know not, not like the TRX4s where you can flip a switch and it locks them and then you go do what you got to do. It's nothing like that so I'm going to have to manually lock and I see right here is where the limited slip is here so there's got to be a way to take that apart and and lock it i mean i know with the drag cars i was doing um the uh what do you call it the um, um jb weld and it works so well but yep there's my fix quick fix quick cheap fix just using a regular yard flag. Um, I mean, you can buy these at your local Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, you don't have to get the big pack and get hundreds of them, but you're gonna get like 25 or such in there and you're gonna probably pay about five or six dollars for those. But if you look around, sometimes you get lucky and you'll see some in a yard and not saying just go pull them, but you know. But anyway, this is a very cheap fix. For me it was, uh, since I already had the flags. So I just, all I had to do was just cut the metal and do it. So I'm gonna be putting, what just fell out? I think that was one of my, I think that was my set screw. 
Yep, it was my set screw and it's like right here, luckily for me. I didn't go anywhere. Because that would be a pain in the butt not to get. Or they call it a set screw. It's technically a grub screw. Uh, man. It's basically a grub screw. And get that back in there for now until I get ready to work this thing. I put my bearing over here so I didn't lose it. I got just one side done. I don't know if I'll be able to do the other side as well as I did this one because I had it, this one taken off. Um, actually, I don't have it done. Let me get my uh, Loctite. Get me some paper towel. Some very wrinkled paper towel. Some paper towel. And we're going to go ahead and throw some Loctite on this before I decide to install this in there. Hopefully we won't, won't play to losing the uh, the grub screw. I'm just taking out a little bit enough to, to put some Loctite on. I do use blue. I'm not using red. Red is more of a permanent. And I don't want to permanently do this. Not that I plan on taking this apart again. But I just don't want to lose it now. This side's plastic, so I'm not even going to bother doing that. And let's see if we can get this back in there. Let me slide this bearing back here close to the tip. Get that back inside. Yeah, let me move the camera so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, so this bearing goes in this little housing right here. So we want to get that back in place. Let me clean it. Lock tight off my tool. All right. Yes, lock tight and flip around this shaft. All right. Let's see if I can get lucky enough to get past these tires. Okay. Now I got to make sure I don't push this other bearing out. Oops. Almost did. Okay, so that's done. So, what we're going to need to do is I'm going to leave this other side undone for a minute so I can uh, get this lined up and put in place. And this is going to be a fun part because I have a feeling that I'm not going to be able to do. that up a little bit hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing all right so we can get this back on here correctly and I already had this pre-cut I just got to loosen the grub screw here. Come on, don't push through. See the hole? There it is. I'm gonna use this and I'll poke a hole in my finger. Push that. And while we're here, I'll do the Loctite again. Just gonna hold it up, my napkin up here. 
some reason this Loctite does not come out easy. It always comes out like a flowing river. So, get this tightened up. Let's see if I can tighten up this front, squishing the tire down. got left to do is bolt up this side here and this is gonna be fun I don't know, I'm gonna do that I'm gonna have to take tires off Ooh, lucky me I'm not gonna get that bolted up all right well I guess Time for me to take tires off, so stand by. Let me figure this out real quick and I'll come back on camera. Okay, guys. Well, it took me a few minutes to try to figure out off camera. There is only two plastic pieces holding this hubcap on, and you can tell if you stop and look real close, you'll see that there's two that doesn't have a small gap in there. So, all right. Oh, this is the first time you take the dualies off. And only one side though. Ta-da! That was pretty simple. Wow. Pretty cool. So I guess if you take all these other um screws out I guess this will come apart all right good to know in the future because eventually I'm gonna be getting some other rims and tires for this I mean I'm gonna keep it as a dually but I just need to put more aggressive tires on here okay let's see here all right I need to get this to push down or up Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so now these will work together. Awesome. So I got it done. Let me show you what it looks like. And you can see the pin that I put in there. So, yep, that's the quick fix for the, uh, the torsion bars, I guess. Or stabilizers, what do you want to call them? So you can see that front screw holds it and keeps it from moving out. And then this tension holds it in place. So at least now I know that if I break another one, even on the front, at least I know that I'll have replacements. <laughs> I got a ton more. I mean, I can make. This is the one I cut, and look how much I got left. So I got plenty of tension bar pins. So, yep, there it is. Got it fixed. And, uh, yeah. So, let me turn the camera back around here. And take these off my face. All right, guys. So hopefully that helps you on this fix. Um, I'm sure there's probably going to be more little things. I mean, it's a new platform, so unfortunately, new platforms have their little glitches. And you know, I'm knocking Sen. I mean, it just had happened. So wanted to show you one more thing in here. Let me figure out how to get this positioned here if you look inside the rim you can see that there's two indentations that's where the hubcap notches are so figure it out 
this will these will fall down in, in a hole and then you put the two screws back in and you're done so I already put the tire back on and yep so everything looks like it's good to go I just gotta finalize and put this back in place and then of course my two screws that will hold them in place and try to use this to prop it and that should be it anyway um, thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and remember have fun with RC's